everyone, this is Anna from All DIY Crafts and today I'm going to be making a tumbler that matches this soap that I made. Um, and I used uh, basically two colors but it was mixed with a white opaque um, base. So that's why you see about four colors in there. So to compensate for that, I'm going to be using mica powders today and I'm going to be using Stardust Pearl from Stardust Micas and I'm going to be using uh, Aerial Blue and Green Lightning um, and we're going to go ahead and mix in the epoxy. I'm using Art Resin. I've switched over to Art Resin for this and then what we're going to do is I'm going to mix the colors. I'm going to first put a light coat of epoxy on here and then I'm going to mix the colors. You'll see all that and then we're going to put it on the cup. I will be wearing a respirator and having a loud fan on so at this point I'm just going to turn on music and then I'll put in annotations if anything else changes.
Okay, and we're back. And so this uh, first coat is dry. I've gone ahead and made the name. And um, I will put a link to the video that shows you how to do this. I do it in a program called Fonto. It's free. You can also do it in Photoshop, which I also do. But this one I did in Fonto. So look for the link and it'll show you how to do this um, so that you can have a small outline around your lettering. Before we want to put this lettering on the cup, what we do want to do is just clean it off a little bit with alcohol um, just to make sure that any, any hand prints or any oils are off the cup. Okay, and then you're going to decide where you want to place this. And it doesn't really look like it's really going to matter. So what we'll do is we're going to take it off. I like to put my names here going down. Some people like to do it this way. It's your personal preference. So we'll just go ahead and lay it down here. And then our last step after this will be doing one final coat of epoxy. So as soon as this is done, we'll mix a little bit more epoxy and then we will be done with the cup. And we'll compare it with the soap, but I think we did a pretty good job. I always put a stroke on mine just so that you can see it just a little bit better because you can see I'm using a holographic vinyl and it's, it's really cool because it kind of just almost has the exact same colors. So what I need to do is I need to put some electrical tape over here and then we're going to put it back on the turner. Okay, so we have this taped up. We have our electrical tape and I tape, I actually go around a couple times all the way up to the top. I have the name here and what I did just to be sure is I went ahead and I just alcoholed it clean one more time because I just want to make sure it, it's clean. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the turner and then I'm going to put my respirator on and then we're going to go ahead and mix the resin and apply it. Okay, everyone, and we're back. The cup is done. Let's see, do I have it upside down? I probably do. And so here's the cup, and then here is the soap. And so I think I matched it pretty good. So we're going to give this to her um, tomorrow, and um, we're just going to be putting a little gift box. 
and give it to her. So this is a great idea. The holiday season is coming up. So yeah, so basically I matched the soap I made with the cup and put her name on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and we'll see you again in a couple days. Have a good day.